I can't believe it. You're floating by yourself. Thanks to warm, soothing water and lots of therapy, Lisa Berkey has come a long way. Nearly two years ago, at age 49, really Lisa well. was hit with a rare disorder yeah. called so Guillain-Barre. Her own immune system attacked her nerves, causing weakness and paralysis in her arms and legs. Well, I had to pretty much start over from scratch. Um, I was on a ventilator for five months, so when I came off the vent, I had to learn to breathe. I had to, had to learn to talk, to feed myself, um, all the little things you take for granted. Now, this new high-tech aquatic rehab center at Cedar Village Retirement Community is helping Lisa as she fights to get her life back. Her goal, independence. She wants to sit, stand, and walk on her own. I'm very determined. I'm too young to be sitting in the wheelchair. As Lisa's therapist hits a remote control, the floor in this special therapy pool lowers them into the water. Here, Lisa practices standing up and sitting down, slowly rebuilding muscle strength in her core and lower body. Outside of water, it's very difficult to go from a sitting to a standing position on my own. I require a lot of assistance from my therapist at this point. In the water, I'm able to do it totally independent. In the water, you have buoyancy. Buoyancy takes the stress off your joints and actually supports your body. Debbie Tyler is the director of rehabilitation at Cedar Village. She says water is a unique exercise medium because it helps patients with weak muscles as they try to lift their own body weight. When you're about waist deep in water, it's supporting about 50% of your body weight on your lower extremities. It takes less effort to move. You can do motions that you can't do on land. In the water, Lise can even walk by herself. The floor is a treadmill that can be adjusted from a slow to challenging speed, helping Lisa build endurance as she walks against the gentle resistance of the water. And the pool has special underwater cameras that show Lisa's therapist exactly what she is doing from various angles. So the therapist can evaluate how that person is moving and how they're stepping and if they need to make any adjustments. I am able to see myself walk, and therefore it's given me lots of confidence to know where my feet are placed outside of the water. So now I'm able to walk with my body more in an upright position. Aquatic therapy gives Lisa a new sense of independence. The fact that you have some freedom. You're able to do things on your own without the assistance of someone else. So it just gives you a real sense of success. As Lisa becomes stronger and more sure-footed in the water, she's determined to transition to standing and walking outside the pool, just like she used to. My goal is to walk out of here with a cup of coffee. That's my goal. So that means no walker, right? Because you have to hold it onto the walker. So if I'm holding a cup of coffee, I can't hold a walker. <laughs>